Hey, it's Evan. It's been about, uh, well, a number of months since I finished my Appalachian Trail through hike and I thought that I would uh, take the time to answer some of the questions that you all have asked in the comments. So let's get started. A favorite section of mine of the AT was called Carver's Gap and that's in oh, Tennessee, North Carolina before you get to Virginia. And it's actually some place that I can drive to from where I live in Nashville. I had no idea, it's about five hours away. And that section from Carver's Gap to Damascus is a really good section. You run into a lot of interesting things. So that was one of my favorite sections. In addition to that, I'd say um, New Hampshire, Maine, those were great areas. I'd like to go back and do them sometime when I'm not so tired. And of course, the beginning of the trail, the trail that I was already familiar with from Georgia, say up through Hot Springs, I, I love that part of the trail and I'll probably do that again too because I live close to it. I think I've come to understand that there's sort of a cult of through hiking where through hiking is given maybe more attention than it really deserves. And I think the attention is given to it mostly by people who have through hiked successfully. We don't hear a whole lot from the people who started the trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, the Appalachian Trail, and so forth, and, and didn't finish. And I would like to hear more from those people. We don't hear from them because we don't really care what they have to say. We only want to hear from the successful through hikers. So, you know, be that as it may, I've kind of come to the conclusion that section hiking makes a whole lot of sense since I finished through hiking the Appalachian Trail. I think that section hiking, although I don't downplay the experience, the experience of through hiking is great. It's just not the right way, I think, to experience the trail for a lot of people. And I think that section hiking, where, where you go from here to there and then you wait some time and you pick up again and you continue on the trail, makes a whole lot of sense for a whole lot of reasons. I haven't made a lot of videos since I finished the AT through hike and uh, I said I wouldn't be making any more videos at some point along my my way on the AT. I'm retired from YouTube I suppose I guess I can still say that because I sure haven't been producing much but I think I will get on here every now and then then and make a, a video maybe about tarp camping or some of the things that I learned on my various through hikes. The one video that I did about uh, tarp camping, why I like it, I think it's called No Tent, No Hammock, Why I Like a Tarp, something like that, has more views than almost any of my other videos that I've done. So for some reason there's a new interest in tarp camping and maybe I'll try to take advantage of that a little bit and help some people out. Since I've been back from the AT, I've done a lot of drawing. I put my drawing, my painting on Instagram, but I also started a new Instagram account with my daughter Zoe's help. It's called Backpacker Comics, and I do a lot of comic sort of uh, humorous sort of takes on backpacking and hiking. Uh, some of them informed by my experiences on the Appalachian Trail, and I would really appreciate it if you all, if you are familiar with Instagram, if you're already using it, if you would check out that new account, Backpacker Comics, and give me a follow and see what I'm up to there. And speaking of Backpacker Comics, I want to do uh, something there having to do with mishaps on the trail. And I don't want to just focus on my own mis mishaps, I'd like to hear from you all too. So if you're so inclined, you could leave a comment or send me an email. My email address is, uh, is in the video description. Tell me about some of your mishaps on the trail. It doesn't have to be something big. It can be about how you spilled hot water on your hand and, and got a blister. Or it can be getting lost. It can be something big. It can be something little. And I think I'll take some of those and uh, some of those mishaps and do something with it. I will uh, give you a citation. I'll give you a credit uh, in, the, in the description. If you don't want a credit, then let me know and, I'll, and you can be anonymous. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been fun to do. Hmm? See you on the trail. I'm not going to say that. <laughs>